Welcome today. My name is Winnie Msefula. I work for Standard Bank under Business and Commercial Banking. Today, we're going to talk about money matters for women, and specifically, we're going to look at young professionals. We have five tips which we're going to break them down as we go along with this video. So our first tip today is to do with goals. What are your financial goals as a young professional? You know, being a young professional, you're said to be someone who creates new ideas in an organization. This is someone who comes in with something fresh that keeps the organization going. But then let's look at us now. If we're able to give those fresh ideas into an organization, what is it that we're creating for ourselves as our goals set as far as financials are involved? So as a young profession, you're in your first job, you're earning an income. And that income surely goes through your daily expenses. Some we take care of our families, but are we having anything set aside just to look at our financial goals as we go on? We should actually look at what we are today and what our finances are going to be tomorrow. And also we've got to look at our near future. What's your bigger dream? What is it that you are going to do, be it time that you retire? 30 years from now, we're not going to be at this same job. 30 years from now, we're going to retire. What is it that we've set aside for that time? So it's high time. We need to step back and create a budget. We have to start looking at our income and expenses. Uh, we've got to look at how we spend our money. We also have to look at our leisure time. How are we spending our money on such? Because as young professionals, we're young, we still have to spend that money on our leisure. Our second tip today is to do with you getting informed and how you get to use your money wisely. Now that you know you're getting a sensible income, you know how to spend your money and you also know where to spend that money on. It's high time that you get the right information of how now you use that money wisely. Our third tip today is borrow and invest responsibly. Key word here is responsibly. Aside from that, you shouldn't borrow for lavish expenses, but look into investing the money into smaller businesses and patient investments that can help you develop funds over time. And our fourth tip today is aggressively invest in assets that rise in value and in income. You have the time and opportunity now to take a curated list where in your later years may be limited by other responsibilities. Explore avenues such as stocks, real estates, land, and assets that build worth over time. By diversifying your portfolio and making strategic investments, you may secure a brighter financial future and achieve long-term success. Start investing wisely today. Our last and final tip today is start saving for retirement now. It is never too early as a young profession to start saving and investing for retirement. Time is your best friend when it comes to creating wealth. Start now, even with the small amounts that can secure your financial future. Saving allows you to be flexible when you're looking to invest. Follow your financial goals, plans. Your retired self, my friend, will thank you for acting today. Standard Bank.